I'm going to take you on a journey back in time. I'm not talking about 500 years, 2000 years, no. I'm taking you back in deep time to a lost world of African dinosaurs. A place that is far more bizarre than any other ecosystem we know of. The Sahara is a magical place, both beautiful and frightening, peaceful and cruel, almost like a world of its own. Today, this is a sea of sand. But 100 million years ago, this place was a huge river system. When I was about 25 years old, I began a fieldwork project to collect fossils in the border region between Morocco and Algeria. People told me that I'm crazy. But I think in science, you sometimes have to be crazy. I think you need people to push the boundaries. I mean, that's what science is about. People thought I would never find anything significant. Well, we found a few things. This outcrop of red sediments is the actual site where a partial skeleton of Spinosaurus was found. Let's see if we can find something new. I never fully understood the concept of deep time until I found an ancient piece of riverbed in the Sahara, the little pebbles and a dinosaur tooth. And all these objects were arranged in the same direction of flow. This scene just came to life in my mind. A dinosaur upstream losing a tooth and the tooth is just rolling on the riverbed, it's carried downstream and it suddenly gets stuck in this little sand dune in the river. I had in my hands a snapshot of time from a time when humans were absent on our planet. We think so much of ourselves today and you know we're ruling our planet but if there's one thing paleontology has has taught us that is that nothing is forever. Species go extinct and it's very unlikely that we'll be the first exception to that rule. Overlooking this vast desert millions of years of ecosystems just under your feet. Travel back in time in your mind and trying to imagine what the place looked like hundreds of millions of years ago. I think knowing that our time on this planet is not infinite makes it all the more special. The world was not made for us and we are privileged to be here and we should make the most of it.